Hi, and welcome to this lesson um, on computing. And today we're going to be uh, learning about uh, to let use Alice interface to program, um, well, basically to reinforce what you learned in the previous lesson when we moved Garfield um, to John uh, in a walking fashion. In this lesson, instead of Garfield walking to John, we're going to have Garfield walking to a football, turning, facing a ball, and then kicking it. It's a bit of reinforcing what you previously learned. So again, I'm going to choose a background, and I'm going to choose the grass, and press open. And I am going to add some objects. So this time I'm going, I am going to find Garfield. Add to world. And I'm going to have Garfield at the one end. But I want to find the, the ball. Now, the problem is I don't know where the ball is. And the only way is um, to actually search the gallery. So I can click on search the gallery. And I'm going to type ball and search. Now, because this is made in America, I, can't, I cannot write ball, uh, sorry, football. I have to write soccer. Um, but of course, ball should work. It comes up with different balls, and one of which is soccer ball. So I click, add to world, and then I am going to move this to the other end. So I've got Garfield and then the ball. I will click done, and I want Garfield to move towards the ball, turn, and then kick it. So just like before, I need to tell it the methods for Garfield to turn to face the ball. Otherwise, the ball will not, otherwise he will walk towards the camera. So I need Garfield to turn to face the soccer ball, and then... Interesting enough, even though the ball is round, it's still facing. And it's facing, uh, we need to make sure it's facing towards the camera because that's the direction I would like it to move. So I need to select the ball to, to turn to face the camera. Okay, so when I press play, Garfield will go towards the ball, will turn to face the ball, the ball will turn to face the camera. Now, by default, both when we put the, the objects on the, on the screen, they will both face the camera. But we don't want to assume. We want to make sure that they are doing, they are facing the way that we want them to be facing. Now, the next part I would like to do is, of course, moving Garfield towards the ball. Okay, and of course, like we did before, I used a while loop in the control structures, while true, and I went to function, while the so uh, oh, it says soccer ball there, I need to choose Garfield. I can either select Garfield or click on the objects in the top left corner. Garfield is at least, drag it into the true part, Garfield is at least, um, I'll say one meter away from the soccer ball. In fact, once I choose Garfield as at least one meter away from the soccer ball, I should be able to change that one meter to other and perhaps say 0 0.2. So he's actually there. So I press OK and I then make him move. Now, the easy way to make Garfield move is just to say Garfield move. Um, oh, Garfield move forward 0 0.2 and what should happen when I play he'll just walk well he'll slide to the ball now at the moment I want him to walk which is where I need to have the do together and I drag the do together inside the while loop move the move in there and I want to have as he moves as he as he slides I want his legs to be moving. So I want his right leg 
to turn and I'll say backwards 0 0.2 is left leg to turn forward 0 0.2 and then I will drag the do together to the clipboard basically I'm asking it to copy then I drag it down and I paste so I paste it underneath so of course it goes at the moment the right leg back left leg forward I now want the uh, the uh, the left leg to go forward the right leg uh, sorry the right leg to go forward the left leg to go backwards so I need to swap these around I then need to do the same again I need to copy it drag it down so I need the same again so now they're reversed and then I need the top one copy drag it underneath the very last one so basically it will walk so I can press play moving he's walking quite quickly and he'll stop oops goes a bit too far there um, let's just change my distance up here okay let's change the other let's change it to 0 0.5 that may work let's see let's see about change our variables okay there we go 0 0.5 work better sometimes you have to change the numbers and make sure don't just copy what I put on the screen change it on for your particular program because your distances might be different the distance from Garfield and the ball you may have a different character which might mean you might have to do the, the turning a different if it's the penguin then the, the 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 rotation will be much much smaller once we get to Garfield uh, once we get to the ball then of course the the Garfield will stop and at that point, I want Garfield to turn and face the camera and kick the ball. So I select Garfield. I can select him here. And I say, Garfield, turn to face. Down here, turn to face, camera. And at that point, I also can say, I want his right leg. Oh, the wrong one. Right leg, turn. Um, I believe for going forward, he needs to have backwards, so Garfield back, quarter rotation. Then I set the ball and I say soccer ball move forward five meters. And I will say duration um, five seconds, I think. Five seconds will be a bit slow. Okay. And then I will also say. Garfield's right leg will go forward, so it'll turn forward, back to the starting position. So let's play. Walk. There we go. And that's the end of the lesson. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and comment. And I look forward to um, um, having you watch my next lesson.